Okay, since my system is in single user mode, I'm sorry, since my system is, um, or has a grub password on it, I can't go into uh, recovery mode and go into single user mode without after first booting into it. So here's my bootloader. So I type my password in and then my system will load. So what I want you to do on this lab is change the settings to do two things. One, I wanted you to change your system so it boots into single user mode. And we're gonna do this by editing the init tab file. And also editing the grub file so we see every single thing that is going on at boot process. In other words, in complete verbose mode. So we get rid of the no quiet switch in the grub config file. So I'm gonna log in as root. And once I'm logged in as root, now first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit the init tab file. If you remember, that's in the etc folder. So vi slash etc init tab. I'm gonna scroll all the way down, change my default boot loader or default boot level to run level one. So I go into single user mode, escape and shift colon WQ to write and quit this file. Next thing I'm going to do is edit my grub config file. So vi slash boot slash grub and hit the tab key to make sure you're spelling things right. Grub.conf. Arrow down and insert. And we have to arrow to the right all the way to the end of this line. And you see where it says quiet? We're gonna take just those words out and our system should boot up. And hit I to insert if you're not already there. And we delete those lines. Hit escape, colon, WQ to write and quit this file. And now we can reboot our system and see that it's gonna be very verbose, see every single line of what the system is doing. At the same time, it's gonna boot into single user mode. Of course, I'm still gonna to have to type in my bootloader password. So we type init space six to reboot the system. See every single line, all of this stuff a normal user would freak out at. But, and there's my bootloader password. Type that and it should boot into single user mode. And notice in single user mode, it notes that I am in single user mode and I do not have to type a username and password, which is part of the recovery process, not having to type that username and password. So when you are done, we're gonna put these settings back. So we're gonna vi slash etc slash init tab, and we're gonna change the run level in I to insert back to three, right quit that file and vi slash et uh, boot slash grub grub comp and we're going to put the word quiet at the end of this line the kernel line hit i to insert space quiet Right, quit and do an init six reboot and system should come up in run level three and notice we don't see anything flying across the screen there's my little indicator at the bottom 
and now my system should boot into run level 3, multi-user mode. Which will then prompt me for a username and password. As opposed to run level 1 did not. There it is. Hope you enjoyed it.